Hello, my name is Youssef Murni, and today I have the pleasure to introduce volumes in Unity Catalog. You all know that the Lake House stores incredibly large amounts of data in arbitrary formats. While much of it is governed through tables, many use cases require access to non-tabular data, such as working with arbitrary files including image, audio, video, PDF, or XML files. To address this, Databricks is introducing volumes. Volumes are a new type of object that catalog collection of files in Unity Catalog and help you build scalable file-based applications that read and process a large collection of data irrespective of its format, including unstructured, semi-structured, and structured data. This enables you to access, store, and organize non-tabular data in Unity Catalog along with the tabular data providing a unified discovery and governance experience. The files are accessible through the UI, Spark API, Fuse, DBUtils, Databricks CLI, and Terraform. Volumes unlock new processing capabilities for the data governed by the Unity catalog, particularly for machine learning and data science workloads. The first thing I will do is creating a catalog and a database. And then I have two options. I can either create a managed volume or an external one. To create a man create managed volume, I just need to write the SQL query, create volume plus the name of the, the volume. And if I want to create an external volume, I need to specify the keyword external and location. And now that I have created my volume, I can go to Data Explorer. And of course, I can use the Explorer I have over here, look for Football UK. And of course, I can display the volume and you see I have created the volume data set. If I go to Data Explorer and look for Football UK, I will access my database. If I go to volume, I can create a volume, either a managed or an external one through the UI. I can handle the different permissions, read volume, write volume, or privileges. And I can also upload files. For my case, I will bring 10 CSV files that I will upload. And if I go to browse, I'll copy the, the URL of this data. And now I'll go back to my uh, notebook. I can drop the volume if I want using the drop volume command. I can grant permissions using SQL queries. I can show grants to see the permissions granted over this specific volume. I can add comments to help data team understand the data stored in this specific volume. And I can also describe the volume to have additional information like the type, whether it's manage, external, comments, and so on. And now what I will do, I will create my first delta table and I will use autoloader to ingest the data I have stored inside volumes. This data will be stored in a table called games that will query in a few. And after I will transform this data to add or to create additional columns. So if I query this table, that's how this table looks like. And I will run this command that will transform this table and create an additional one using uh, called game plane. And let me show you how the new tables look, look like. So I did add additional columns. If I go to Data Explorer again, I will show you the lineage. And you will see that you have a pretty interesting information over there. So if I go to Football UK, All Seasons, if I click on Games and then Lineage, you will see that I have the volume over here, which means I have the, comp the full lineage that volumes data set was used to create a table called games and then 
a table called games was used to create a table called games clean. And that's not everything. If I go to the path, you will see the path of the volume I have uh, used. And I can also, if I refresh, you can also browse the different uh, folder you have inside your, uh, your volumes. And that's not everything. You can also use volumes to store your artifacts and you can use them, of course, uh, and read those artifacts. Or for my case, I'm using uh, volume to store CSV file and I'm using pandas to read from those CSV file. Then I'm adding some transformations and then of course I can use them to train my ML model. Thank you for watching this video.